you know, it never ceases to amaze me that on our YouTube community that the level of talent that people have is amazing. And I'm just sharing a few of the things that people have sent me. Actually, I think this is really it the, of the uh, of things that people have made themselves, handcrafted, things like that. You know, I've done some other videos of other unboxing where mail calls and things where people have sent me stuff. But this is the stuff that's handmade. And, uh, get that to stay. Uh, you know, the people where they've taken their, their time and their talents and made these things and then they share them with others. And a lot of everybody that's been on that has made these things for me and, and, uh, have shared their talents and skills with others on YouTube as well. Um, this was like the first thing that I ever was given and it was by Kyle from Plant Based Outdoors. When he came down, him and his girlfriend, they came down and we hung out a little over, well, it was about a year ago, I guess. And uh, maybe longer than that now, I don't know. It's been a, it's been a minute, but uh, they came out they, and we had the a YouTube meetup with just uh, me, him and her and hung out down there on the property where I go, down there at the rock and stuff. And he gave me this. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's, it's, it's an ax, you know, now, uh, he does a lot of, uh, tool restoration stuff too. So I don't know if he restored this ax head from, you know, years ago. Cause I know he used this himself and I, so I know, but he also told me he didn't make this, but he did, he did treat it and, and, uh, do all the stuff to it. He did make this little, uh, neck you know whatever the neck collar or whatever they call it he did make this and he did put smm in there and he did uh treat the handle and things like that so put all this stuff on it so that's very cool you know and i use that everything here i'm gonna use you know uh rick from tack hill very cool guy very talented he made these handles for me and this you know and I put this ferrule right in there, but he did that, you know. It's out of some mesquite wood. He did a little burning in it, put some design in it, two different kinds of wood and things right there. Very cool, and I use this quite often. You see me use them. And then Trent from Panhandle Prepper, he made these spoons, hand carved. You know, I, I did the mail call from him just recently. But uh, he did all the, and this night, you know, all this stuff, he made this, these for me and my wife, and she loves them. Just very talented folks. And then Nathan, 4071, made this flint striker. I mean, this thing is awesome. This is this got me really into flint and steel because of that, and it works fantastically well. And I love it. And then Shalisha Shell, of course. You know, she sent these out during Christmas to the Fat Wooders Anonymous folks. And, you know, just a little Christmas ornament you hang on your tree, a little piece of fat wood with her little uh, channel logo on there. I think that's Annie Oakley, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, very cool stuff, you know. And then, of course, Jerry Hagerman. You know, he made the, he's been making a lot of ferro rod handles. I still got to set mine. Got to do that. I'm going to do that later. Um, but he made that, you know. But I've seen a lot of people on YouTube in our community that are very talented in making things. You know, I mean, this is the assortment that I have. If I'm forgetting anything, I apologize, but I don't think I am. Um, but this is just the handcrafted stuff that people have sent. That they've taken their time and their efforts. And, uh, you know, they've taken time away from their families and things like that and, and put their you know, their time into this and their love and their passion into it. And it's just awesome stuff. You know, awesome stuff. And, uh, 
it means more to me than just getting something in the mail or something. This, this means something to me. It means a lot and more than anybody knows. You know, and I'm, I am deeply appreciative and thankful for that. And there's a lot of talented people on uh, YouTube and our community that do stuff that I, you know, stuff that I have not received things from and, and may never, but um, I'd be grateful to do so. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of talented people. You know, D from, uh, I'm having a brain fart. I can't even think. D from Native Tears. Da, da, da. <laughs> Very talented. You know, Justin from Survival Mindset. He makes some things too. Um, you know, there's tons of people. I mean, just tons of people. Bonnie from Sunset Bay Bonnie. Talented, talented people, you know. And uh, I'll put a link to all these people in, in the description box. But, you know, I mean, it's just the, it just amazes me the level of talent and love that people have in our community. And, you know, I have not tried to make anything like this stuff. You know, my ferro rod handles do not look like this. I don't have the machines to do it. I'd love to. Um, I've never really tried to carve anything like this. Um, it takes a lot of patience. And I have patience. It's just I don't know if I want to do it. <laughs> you know, but which makes all this all the more better, you know, and things like that. I mean, this stuff is awesome. Awesome stuff. And it's just amazes me, like I said, the amount of talent and passion that people have on our, in our community and in the generosity by sharing in their talents with others. And that's just the truly awesome thing. It makes it one big family, you know. So that's awesome. Awesome. I know I'm forgetting a lot of other people that are talented. I'm just doing this off the cuff, like most of my stuff. Uh, but there's a lot of talented people, and you and you know who they are, because a lot of us are subscribed to the same same people. There's just a lot of talent, and a lot of you, a lot of you all know who they are, and a lot of you have received things from other people and shared your talents with others, and that's truly awesome. And I cannot forget, can't believe I did forget, but John from Fatwood Projects, you know, he made a lot of this stuff right here. He sent it out. Uh, uh, unfortunately, he doesn't really do YouTube anymore. I'm not exactly sure why. But, uh, you know, he sent a few of these out to a few people. And I happened to get one. It's out, made out of fat wood. I call it my holy grail. And uh, the goblet of fire. But it's, uh, yeah, it's made out of Arizona fat wood. Sweet, very nice. Stalker Steve also does a lot of, a lot of uh, lathing out fat wood, things like that, on his channel. So yeah, very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. All right, we got lots of rain here the last several days. Um, I see Panhandle Preppers been getting some rain out there. Hope they get a lot more. They sure could use it. Those fires are starting to get under control. But in the time-honored tradition from Triumph Screen Printing, Brandon, another talented man as well. This burn is for all you talented folks out there in the community. And I have us a good one. Oh, that stuff smells good. I'm burning fat wood like this in a while.
Burn it. Burn it. Today is actually a very cool day today, too, for the end of April. Man, look at the oils coming off that, those big chunks. Just sizzling. And good wind, too. This burn is for all of you guys out there. I'm sure everybody feels the same way that every one of you is much more appreciated than you actually know. So here's to all of you. That wood fire, it's for you. You know what to do. I say it all the time. Keep it heavy.